I can be a professional. Everything he did was absolutely Bush League, and we've allowed it to go because he won one funky ASS championship in New Orleans. And so as you all know, I did a video concerning Russell Wilson at the beginning of the season, and it was regarding this very same topic. Sean Payton is sounding off a little bit, calling out Russ's image. In a recent interview, Payton said he told his quarterback to focus less on, quote, Russell Inc. Batting, will you believing stop kissing the babies? You're not running for public office, close. And one of the main things that I talked about in that video was I talked about Russell Wilson being too nice. Just go out there and just be just a little raw. Like, let us peek a little bit into it. Unfortunately, in this world, people treat you how you allow them to treat you. And that's exactly what we're seeing between Coach Sean Payton and Russell Wilson. Oh, for some clarity, because I'm sure the reporters are sitting there like, well, okay, if the offensive lineman lined up offside, how is that Russ's fault? Did Russ do something? Was it something that led up to that? Maybe there was a sequence deal that happened that we didn't see or that we don't know. But nah, I don't think I don't think in that situation Sean Payton was right to yell and and, and undress basically Russ on the sideline like he did. Because Sean Payton wouldn't have dared talk to a certain kind of quarterback like this. He wouldn't have dared talk to a Drew Brees like this. And I'm not even talking about race in this video. I'm not even going to bring up race. That's too easy. But he wouldn't have dared talk to those individuals like that because of their character. Those are the kind of individuals that if you bark at them, they're going to bark back. Even if they're wrong, even if they messed up on a play, even if they got the wrong call, we can figure out who was right and wrong back in the locker room. But right now, while you're yelling in my face on national TV, while my wife and kids are watching, I'm going to make sure I'm barking right back at you. And so individuals like Sean Payton know exactly who they can bark at. I remember way back when Adrian Peterson was on the Saints and he wasn't getting his touches. I believe he got three carries in a football game. And he was letting Sean Payton have it. And here's some video from late in the first half. We have no idea what this is really about, but it was clear Adrian Peterson trying to get Sean Payton's attention and finally he turned around. Sean Payton said, I know it's likely. And Sean Payton didn't want no part to AP. And shout out to AP. I worked out with AP a few times back in the day. Solid individual. And like I said, there's no way in hell that a Sean Payton would have talked to an AP that way. But I will say this, the way that Russell Wilson has handled the situation and the way that he's handled himself in the media and the fact that he's not taking shots at Sean Payton is making Sean Payton come across like the bully that he is. And you got people within the media calling him out for it. Listen, it's a difficult night, like you said. You know, it was just one of those moments. Listen, what I talk with Russell about is none of your business. Oh, you remember when I had to act like this on the sideline of Detroit? No, because you didn't. Right. Because you could have had that conversation like other people do with future Hall of Famers, former All Pros, Walter Payton Man, Man of the Year, that's showing you I can be a professional. Everything he did was absolutely Bush League, and we've allowed it to go because he won one funky ASS championship in New Orleans. And, cause and so Ryan Clark is 100% correct. Sean Payton's gotten away with a lot mainly because he won one Super Bowl. Because I... <clears throat> and so Ryan Clark is absolutely correct. Sean Payton is getting away with a lot. He's gotten away with a lot over the years. And so Ryan Clark is absolutely correct. Sean Payton has gotten away with a lot over the years. And mainly because he's got that one Super Bowl under his belt. Because I don't think there's another coach alive. Well, not many coaches, I'll say that. That could still be coaching after Bounty Gate. After it was discovered by the NFL that they were put after after it was uncovered by the NFL that they were putting price tag on people's heads. I don't think there's another coach that would be coaching right now if that happened under their tenure. But for whatever reason, Sean Payton got a pass and they allowed him back in the league. And here he is in 2023, about to be 2024, and he's still coaching. So it's looking like Russell Wilson's going to be out of that next year. And I think that's a good thing. Hopefully he can get with a good team and be able to continue his career. And I've been critical before on this channel of Russell Wilson, but it was never anything personal. It was always me talking about what was going on exactly in this situation right here. 
which is Russell Wilson being too nice and always trying to do and say the right thing or what he thinks is the right thing to say. And I've called him the talented Mr. Ripley on this channel because he's somebody that's been able to adapt and morph his personality to try to fit and be comfortable with the people around him. Everybody should have one talent. What's yours? Could you ever conceive of going to Italy, Tom, and uh, bringing him back? What? I'd pay you if you would go to Italy, persuade my son to come home. And sometimes that's necessary. Sometimes you do have to be able to adapt to your environment, whether it's at work or you're trying to do business. Sometimes you do have to be able to adapt and code switch, as they say. But there's a balance to it. And at the end of the day, you never want to put yourself in a situation to allow others to think that they can just walk all over you. Because eventually you're going to come across an individual like Sean Payton. And they'll try to use that to their advantage. And so hopefully this time next year, Russell Wilson can find himself in a better situation and on another team and hopefully get out of that situation in Denver. But go ahead and drop a comment in the comment section on this one. Let me know how y'all feel about this. And of course, as usual, peace and chaos.